Καλημέρα σας. Είναι η μεγάλη χαρά και τιμή μου που είμαι μαζί σας, γιατί τη δουλειά που θα κάνετε αυτές τις μέρες είναι πολύ σπουδαία. And I wish you uh, Godspeed in it. I don't think there's anything uh, more important um, and more consequential today than a nation's uh, health care system. The world has aging demographics, uh, especially in Europe and, 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 and in Greece. Uh, the challenges are going to become more profound in the future, and it is going to be people like you, the industry, who steps up and meets them. And I'm very confident that this industry will step up and meet the challenges because that's what the industry has always done. Uh, it is the ancient Greeks that has said, you are what you have always done. It is not habit, it is your ethos. So I commend and salute an industry that has worked tirelessly to cure illness and make life better for mankind. Thank you. I'd like to uh, express how delighted I am to be with you at my first Health World Conference. I want to thank my friends Nikos and Elias for organizing the conference and convening such a distinguished group of speakers on a variety of very important and consequential uh, topics. The pandemic has driven home the need for innovation and digitalization in healthcare. But this does not happen in a vacuum. It needs champions. Now, the Greek government's vision has made Greece one of the first countries to implement the digital vaccine certificate and appointment system. Είναι απίστευτος να μερικοί έχω ένα χαρτί και ήρθα στην Ελλάδα and uh, th this was so different. It was on everyone's uh, uh, phone. I cannot tell you how many of my friends in Greek government are making fun of me. But it's Greece has taken a challenge and turned it into an opportunity. I mean, I look at the tourism industry, it's setting records. And if I digress away from healthcare issues just for a moment, I remember it wasn't too long ago where you couldn't turn on TV or CNBC or CNN, and Greece was a mockery. It was being threatened to be kicked out of the EU. And look at the irony how things have changed. Last year, Greece had 8.3% GDP growth, the highest in the Euro. Thus far in the first two quarters, 7.8% average. And I think the third quarter will be an, a record. You will likely have the highest GDP growth for two consecutive years. And it is Greece that is being called upon to help solve the energy scarcity issue that exists all over Europe. So Greece has gone from a punching bag to the solution. It is turning into a dynamic 21st century economy that is a very substantive, very reliable partner of the United States to solve issues in the region. And I'm very grateful for the cooperation we receive uh, amongst all Greeks and the Greek government. And uh, I think that the bilateral relationship continues to get better. People said it's at an all-time high. I assure you it's going to get better. From challenge comes opportunity. We need to continue to adapt to the circumstances that crisis after crisis after crisis have given us. COVID has, we have recognized that it is necessary to change and adapt, to have a more innovative uh, healthcare system. The industry continues to step up and help all governments get through the variety of crises that have happened. They have modified production lines to meet demand for products and equipment. Researchers have fast-tracked treatments. Pfizer, led by a proud Greek son from Thessaloniki, rolled out a vaccine in nine months, not nine years, but nine months, saving tens of millions of lives. Quite simply, in order for this innovation to flourish, it needs a supportive regulatory and policy environment. 
It requires a network of incubation, a talent pool that needs to be sustained, and access to knowledge can only be built through years of trials and experiments. Every citizen, not only in Greece, but every citizen deserves access to outstanding health care. And it is a very difficult task today that governments deliver outstanding, high-quality health care at an affordable price. It is probably one of the great challenges that we're going to have to meet. And this is where the industry becomes so important because the innovation that is necessary is not going to happen without substantial input from the private sector. I want to take a moment to recognize the contributions of the private sector, many of which are here today. I had an opportunity to have a very productive breakfast with the leaders of the medical device companies and the pharmaceutical companies. I was very impressed with the depth and breadth of your knowledge, your commitment to Greece, your commitment to your industry. Um, uh, I learned a lot and I'm very grateful and I hope this is uh, one of many such uh, meetings we can have because it certainly makes the embassy more aware of how we can partner um, and help uh, the industry here uh, in Greece. The work that you do helps Greek patients, full stop. Life-saving treatments in cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Delivering the latest equipment to detect cancer, genomic testing to gauge COVID, first-rate diabetes medications. And this is just to mention a few. I understand we're facing a lot of challenges in the healthcare system, and there's no fast and easy solutions. But the best constructs are one where industry and government work hand to hand to benefit society. We need to incentivize those that are bringing life-saving technology to Greece, invest in research and development, conduct clinical trials necessary to find tomorrow's miracle cures. I'm delighted by the major investments announced by my good friends, Albert Burla and Michael Vernatsos, and it would be wonderful to see more. We need to see more clinical trials, more specialized research hubs in Greece, and higher paying jobs to talented Greeks doing the research. I salute everyone here who's spending the next couple of days thinking and acting constructively on how we move forward on these difficult yet critical issues. I want to thank everyone in this most consequential and critical uh, industry. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ.